Hey there, so I want to show you my browser and I want to talk to you specifically about some of the extensions that you can have. And the extensions are this, uh, these things up here in the upper right corner. Now, to get those extensions, you need to log into the browser. So I wanted to show you this process. And by, having, uh, by logging into the browser, it gives you direct connection to so many things that are missing, maybe out of your lives, your educational lives at least, uh, that might help support you become an more effective digital learners and teachers. Okay, so um, what you'll notice is you can see my icon here in the upper right corner just below the X and the closing off the screen. To get to that, essentially you're logging into the browser, right? And so I wanna show you how to do that. So over here on the right hand side, you're gonna click on these three uh, vertical dots or the three ellipses and you're gonna get a pop-up screen. So you're gonna come down here to settings and you wanna get into your browser settings to do this. And we're gonna click on settings. Now, once you get to this section right here at the top, the people section right here, that's where you're going to log in just like I did, all right? Now, the login process might look a little different for you depending on if it's your first time logging into a browser or if you've done it before and you just need to resync things. So any, anyways, either way, you're gonna look at this. You're gonna um, there should be like a link data or a sign-in option on the right-hand side. Um, follow the prompts on the screen and you do, yes, you do want to link your data, okay? And essentially, anytime you log into this browser, into a Chrome browser, and you have bookmarks saved, all these bookmarks come across, all of my extensions here at the top right corner, they all come over to the new browser when I log into it. So I can go from computer A to computer B and log into the browser and all of my bookmarks and extensions from computer A will sh transfer to computer B and so on to computer C and D, etc. Okay, now there are some features here in the upper right corner that I really wanna show you. So I'm gonna close that screen out, open, you just kind of go back to the beginning. Um, there are some features here that I really want to show you. First and foremost, once you log into your browser, a lot of things are going to pop up on your screen, and that's good. That means things are starting to connect. These programs are connecting for you. But first and foremost, I really want to show you Google Hangouts. And Google Hangouts is a chat feature that's available to, to all Dodea staff and students. Um, and when we use it appropriately, it can be a fantastic learning and teaching tool. Okay, so what's nice about this is you can create different conversations or different groups based on what the need is. So if you're trying to plan as a professional team of educators, you're uh, a first grade team or you're a fifth grade team across your school, or you're a secondary teacher teaching sixth grade science and you're connecting with other professionals either within your building or at other schools uh, that uh, support sixth grade science, you can create these professional learning networks essentially and start using it to communicate. Okay, so I'm gonna show you one that I have here and this is called the Mad ET's Living Chat. We are on this every day as a support. We've been um, on it over the weekend and trying to make sure that everybody across the ET team, uh, um, the educational technologist team across the Mid-Atlantic District are all on the same page. And so we are actively engaged in the conversation that is going to support not just us as educators, but our teachers and our students. Uh, and so everybody has access to this, right? Uh, what's nice is that you can create new conversations. You can create a group and invite specific individuals to that group. So again, if you're using it as a professional learning network, you can invite your teacher teams. If you're using it as a classroom communication tool, you can invite your students to this as well and create a you know, period one class and a period two class and a period three class, et cetera. Um, and, <clears throat> and by doing this and engaging students in the conversation, you're you're supporting multiple areas of learning. Uh, one where where you may not believe it or you know, as Isaac Bancroft, you may hear my name and my voice a lot, uh, but I was I am a very quiet learner and I'll sit back and I won't speak in a large group of people, right? So providing a platform like this where I can communicate uh, as my own voice, I'm, I'm learning and providing an opportunity for my silent learners to become vocal learners through text. 
Um, you can also develop stories, collaborative stories, one after another, after another, adding to the conversation, adding to the storyline. So it's really direct in supporting the written text and the reading text as well. Um, so I highly engage, highly en encourage and engage you to create a conversation with your professional uh, PLNs, your grade levels, to start the conversation. And then um, when you become comfortable with that, I encourage you to create a, a, a group for your student learners. And especially in this time where we're going to a virtual teaching and learning uh, uh, experience uh, across the Mid-Atlantic District, um, being able to connect with your students in a simple, quick, and instant fashion is critical. So there are times this, so Google Hangouts chat uh, is also available as a phone app in most um, platforms, Android, iOS, Google Play Store. Uh, and so it, it allows for that communication to be instant and it's uh, from the touch of our phones and go from there. So I highly encourage you to engage with the Google Hangouts. Okay. Uh, there's some additional extensions here that I would encourage you to to explore and play with, and just knowing that it's available to you is super helpful. All right, hope you like uh, that little tutorial, and go, enjoy.